Okay, in this video, I want to talk about umbrella and soft light. And when you're using an umbrella as a shoot through with a speed light, something that you have to be very cautious of. But first, let me tell you about the umbrella and why I like it. I mean, this thing is, is lightweight, it's versatile. You can get these things in any size you want for the most part. Um, this is a 33 inch umbrella. You could take it on the road with you. Um, it's lightweight, like I said, cheap. One of the dangers out there, when you are taking this on, on, on location, this thing will sail away, man. It'll catch wind and you're going to destroy your umbrella and possibly your speed lights. You have to make sure you have your light stand secured with sandbags or camera gear or whatever you have. Just make sure it doesn't blow away and, and catch sail somewhere. Anyway, but there's something that you have to kind of realize when you're um, using a rig like this. Let me get on this side, see if you can see this. When you're using a rig like this, you see I got my umbrella coming through right here. See, yeah, you know, coming through like that. And I got the, um, a lot of people have this attachment where you can put your umbrella up and down. You can kind of angle it. And then right here is my wireless um, trigger. This is the Cowboy Studio wireless trigger. And then my speed light. But if you notice my speed light, it's not really shooting in the center. This is actually, this is actually where I would want to shoot. It's kind of way up here. And I can't really point the, uh, the speed light, I am having technical difficulties. <laughs> there we go. I can't really point the speed light any lower than that, so I'm kind of like shooting right about, right about here. And I don't like that. I would really like to shoot about here. So that's what I don't like about the uh, shoot-through umbrella when using a speed light. But you, it, it, I mean, it does make good soft light. You just got to be aware that your light is up here and they're not here. So I'm going to show you what this looks like basically when you shoot. See now, first of all, before I get to this point, when I use this as a, um, as a modifier, I like to get it right here, right on the subject. I have the, the umbrella usually right out of frame and that way that gives me good soft light. Remember the larger the light source, the softer the light, the smaller the light source, the harder the light. So I like to bring this thing right up on your subject right here. This really makes beautiful light. But remember that light is up here. So let me show you something. I'm gonna take a picture of this. Let me see how I can do this. Let me put that back there. Let me get my camera. Okay, I'm gonna set this up to take a picture and then we're gonna see what kind of light is really spilling out of this thing, okay? So uh, right now I got it. I got the umbrella kind of all the way back. And let me make sure I have this on, do a test fire. Okay, everything seems to be working. Uh, let me stand back and let me just take a shot of this umbrella to show you what it looks like. I have this camera set at uh, 250, 250 uh, f8, and that's where it should block out all the uh, ambient light and just give me the, uh, the light from the flash. Let's see what we got. Okay, see in this picture, as you notice, the light is on the top half of the umbrella. It's not really on the uh, lighting up the bottom half. So you have to realize that when you are shooting with this, um, the, with this umbrella, when you kind of lighten up your subject. So what I would like to do in this situation, when you lighten up your subject, let me put it towards me. When you lighten up your subject, just remember that your light is up here. So you don't want to have it kind of like this or lighten up because your light's going to shoot right over the head. So just remember where your light is when you're using this kind of method. And also, let me show you this little tip. You might have an umbrella like this and not used to it, and you do have the slide, and you're kind of like, you know, where should I slide the umbrella? Should I bring it way back here? You know, should I bring it up here? And, and let me show you, you want to have this umbrella as far as you could have it out, kind of like that. That's going to give you the more soft light. That's going to make it where the light is really lighting up the whole umbrella. So I'm going to take a shot of that with the umbrella all the way out. And we're going to see what that looks like. There we go. See, I have the umbrella all the way out. And i am almost kind of got the whole thing that still most of the light is concentrated on the upper half. So that's where you would want your umbrella all the way out. Now I'm going to take another shot with the umbrella all the way in. And you can kind of know what's going to happen when you do that, right? Well, I won't do it all the way in, but like that, right? And, and uh, let's see what that's going to look like. One minute here. There you go. And you can see the light is just right at the top half, not even lighting up the corners of the, uh, of the edges of the uh, umbrella. So I don't like that. So anyway, so therefore, back to the, 
where we at. When you're using this as a, um, a sort of, as a modifier, make sure your umbrella is way out. That's the way I like it. Uh, also, realize when you are shooting, make sure, you know, notice that your light is more concentrated up here on this top half. And then also, what I like to do, I, I like to have the umbrella very close to the subject, right out of frame, if you really want that soft light that you're looking for. Okay just, okay, just remember that when you're using these umbrellas, these are great light sources. Just remember your light's concentrated on the top half or wherever your speed light is pointing to. Uh, remember to keep the umbrella all the way, you know, as far away from the speed light as you can. That way you can light up most of the umbrella. I won't say you light up at all, all the umbrella, but you will light up most of the umbrella, probably not including the edges. And also remember, this light will spill. It's not just concentrated like uh, on the edges like a softbox will. This light's kind of coming out and, and it's going to light up the rest of your room. So therefore, those are some quick tips in, about the umbrella. I use this all the time because it's easier actually than setting up the softbox. I do have a softbox as well when the umbrella is not going to work for me because it's spilling light all over the place and I want to concentrate the light in a certain spot. Okay, if you have any questions or comments, please put them on the comments below. Thanks for watching this video. As always, I'm Dre, EMIP out.